ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NFL Thoughts. So, um, yesterday we went through our reviews of our predictions from this past week, week three. If you haven't seen that video, uh, go check it out. Matter of fact, I will put the link in the description box below. And now today we are going to go through our predictions of the um, NFL Week 4 predictions. And basically, let's take a recap, make a recap. Week 1, I got 9 out of 16 right. Week 2, I got 8 out of 16 right. And then... This past week, week three, we got 10 out of 16 right, which is so far the best we've done so far. And it's 10 that games that I got correct. So, you know, that's uh, actually pretty good. Not judging by when you look at the fact that I actually got seven of the first eight correct. And then got five of the last, and then got five of my last eight incorrect. But nonetheless, we still got 10 out of 16. So now we're about to do our week four predictions right now. But first of all, let me uh, go get my uh, drink real quick. Alright guys, so let's get to this video. Let's officially start this video. Um, prediction time. Week 4 predictions. So to start off, we got Dolphins versus Bengals. The Dolphins they're almost a replica of the Cincinnati Bengals. They got great receivers. They all are big play receivers that can make a big play downfield. So they're basically a replica of the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati is also known for their deep threats at receiver. T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd. They all can make a play downfield. But um, for the Dolphins, it's more that they can just burn you. All right? Burn you downfield. And then with the Bengals, it's more that they can all just, except for Jamar Chase, he's an exception. Um, they are just no more for being able to, you can throw it up and they'll go up and get it. And make a big um, make a huge catch so these two teams are almost a replica of each other I will say though I think the Dolphins might have a better defense than the Bengals now they said two is questionable for this game they said he's questionable for this game um, but and if that means Teddy Bridgewater will take over for him, uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously Teddy Bridgewater's got, um, Teddy Bridgewater's almost like in the same boat as Tua. You know, he also can't really get the ball downfield either. You know, but what makes, um, I feel like what makes Teddy Bridgewater you know, really good is that I feel like he does, he can run better than uh, Tua. I do believe that. I feel like he's got better mobility. So he can also beat you with his legs if needed. Um, and he's a great game manager. Um, and a great game manager. Um, and... 
However, I would say this game is played in Cincinnati. Um, I'm actually going to say that I'm going to pick Bengals on this one. It took us... <laughs> It took us a while to, um, you know, think that through. But I'm picking the Bengals. I feel like Joe Burrow is a really good quarterback. And, you know, you know, primetime games, you know, I mean, I don't know, like, even if Tua was playing in this game, I don't believe I can trust him. I think I'll trust Joe Burrow over Tua or Teddy Bridgewater. I'm going to go with the Bengals for this game. Next up, we have Viking Saints. This is a uh, London edition game, by the way. Um... Okay, so the Saints, I got Vikings on this one because, bro, the Saints have just been struggling, man. I mean, they struggled to beat the Falcons um, in week one on opening day, and then they lost a terrible one against Tampa Bay and then lost again to Carolina. They've opened the season so far this year against all three teams, all three threats in the NFC South, and they lost to all. Um, they basically played, came up small against all three teams. The Vikings, they took care of business against the Packers week one. Uh, next week, they didn't take care of business against Philadelphia. But then they played Detroit. And their offense got back on track. Um, Justin Jefferson got back on track. And yeah, the Vikings won last week 28-24. to I got that prediction correct. Um, and I think I will be correct on this one again, picking the Vikings, to beat the New Orleans Saints in London. Next up, Seahawks versus Lions. Okay. The Seahawks, um, okay. I honestly believe that Jared Goff is a better, uh, is a better QB than Geno Smith. And the Lions as a whole, especially offensively, is better than the Seattle Seahawks. And I don't feel like you can really... I don't feel like the Seahawks will be able to keep pace with um, the Detroit Lions in this game. You know, I feel like they're going to have to score a lot of points. You know, take advantage of opportunities when given to them. And I don't feel like they'll be able to uh, do that. I'm actually picking Lions on this game. Next up, you got Jets versus Steelers. Steelers have not looked all that good. I'll be quite honest with you. They have not looked all that good. Uh, the Jets, um, they've looked, you know, you know, subpar overall for the most part. And that final two minutes of the fourth quarter against the Browns, yeah, that was, you know, that was Joe Flacco going back to his 2012 self. And I did say that the Jets are probably going to be better this year. I don't think that, and it's not going to show exactly on their record, but they're going to be in a lot of games. A lot of games. So, and then the Steelers, well, okay. They beat the Bengals week one, but it was basically kind of like last year. I don't know how the Steelers do this, but somehow, some way, they find a way to beat teams they shouldn't be beating. 
Last year, they somehow, some way beat the Buffalo Bills week one. And then week one this year, they somehow beat Cincinnati. And then, of course, they lost on Thursday night, last Thursday, to the Cleveland Browns. But, I mean, you got to stop Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. And it's a pretty tall task to be able to do that at all for any team. Um, but nonetheless, the Steelers have been very disappointing this year. I predicted them to go 11-6 and six this year because I thought Mitch Trubisky, I thought he had the sauce. I thought he had the sauce. The same thing with Jameis Winston, but I was wrong. I can admit as a as a man that I was wrong. You know, I was wrong. Absolutely. Mitch Trubisky just does not he does not have the sauce. And if he doesn't, you know, get if he doesn't get this whole situation fixed fast, man, if he doesn't get this fixed fast, then gonna have to get um gonna have to get Kenny Pickett, man. Gonna have to get Kenny Pickett uh to uh, start for the Steelers, man. But you know, I'm going for the Steelers in this game. I think the Steelers will win, but. I don't think it's going to be a route. I think that the um, Steelers are going to... This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tight game. But I, I think the Steelers will win. And next up, you got Bears-Giants. Okay, Giants... Giants looked a lot better than I thought they were going to be um, on Monday night. Now, we won the game nonetheless, but Daniel Jones looked better than I thought he would. Like, I thought we were going to shut him down completely. He kept the Giants in that game with a lot of plays. You know, so, nonetheless, we obviously found a way to win, and that's what we're going to have to do. we got to find a way to win. You know, we got to find a way to win these tough games, which is something that we normally, for some reason, don't know how to do. But, yeah, and let's look. Credit where credit's due. I think the Giants are a better football team this year. And I think it has to do with one thing and one thing only. Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley is back to his 2018 form again. You know, he just he just has looked different for the different, you know, like than what we've seen over the course of the last like couple of years or so. And he's back to 2018 form. And that's been the biggest thing for the um Giants so far this season. Why they started 2-0 being the Titans and the Texans. So, and the Bears, they struggled to beat the Texans, but to be honest, everybody's been struggling to beat the Texans so far this year. But I don't know. I'm actually going to say the Giants, the Giants will beat the Bears on Sunday. All right. I said it. The Giants, I'm saying the Giants are going to beat the Bears on Sunday. And then Titans versus Colts. Titans, they're coming off of a sigh relief type of game. You know, on Sunday, it was just kind of like a whoo. You know, like their season looked dead in the water. And then they beat the Raiders, another winless team, though. They're the only team apparently still in the NFL that's winless. I didn't even know that. But, you know, the NFL, it's, it's, it's wide open. It's completely wide open. And then the Colts, they're coming off of an impressive win against Kansas City on Sunday. Um, I, this being a division rival and this is a divisional matchup. Uh, 
<sighs> you know, remember back in 2019 when the Titans started the season two and four and everybody was wondering, you know, is Mike Vrabel the guy? And then they turned that season around and wound up making it all the way to the AFC title game where they lost to the Chiefs. So I guess Mike Vrabel, he has a way of knowing how to, you know, turn seasons around. But remember, you know, it seems like nobody's better at that you know, having a slow start to the season and then, you know, pick, you know, picking themselves back up, you know, nobody does it better than Frank Reich, okay, nobody does it better than Frank Reich, so with that being said, though, I will say I think the Titans are going to win this game. But don't be surprised, Colts get off to a slow start to the season, and then they turn things around and get to midseason form, and then all of a sudden they're back in the tournament again. Don't be surprised. But for as of right now, I think that they're still going to be in a little bit of a slump, and I got the Titans winning. Chargers-Texans. Now, two teams coming off of completely different scenarios. Chargers got, just got their doors blown off by the Jaguars on Sunday. And who saw that coming, right? Uh, the Texans coming off of a hard-fought um, um, you know, game against the Chicago Bears. They did not win, but they showed a lot of character. They've showed a lot of character so far this, so far this season. Um, but I don't know. Um... We remember what happened last year when the Chargers and Texans played each other, and somehow, some way, the Chargers cracked the bed in that game. And I don't know. Uh, uh, I see a lot more of the same. I'm actually saying that the Texans will beat the Chargers in this game. The Chargers, I thought that they were going to be a contender in the AFC, but <sighs> it seems like after that uh, Chiefs game, it sure hasn't been looking like it. So, I'm going to say the Texans will win this game. We've been seeing a lot of surprises, and this one will be no exception. I got the Texans beating the Chargers. Browns, ver Browns versus Falcons. Okay, Browns are going to win, okay? Browns are going to win, but the resiliency that the Falcons have shown so far this year through the first three weeks, this might not be a walk in the park, though, but the Browns will win that game. Commanders versus Cowboys. Oh, Oh man, we'll 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 talk we'll we'll talk about that game in uh at a later date later on this week. <laughs> we'll get to that one. Stay tuned. Jaguars, Eagles. Here's the thing. Um, Doug Peterson, he knows this team very very well. He knows the Eagles and he knows how to beat them. He knows their defense. So, and, and don't get me wrong, Doug Peterson has had, you know, some high moments in his uh, coaching career. He's had some upsides. So it's not like we're going to sit here and act like, you know, the Eagles, like, oh, this is an automatic win. Like, check, you know, chip, uh, you know check that, you know, off the box. You know, check the box on that one. Um, and the Jaguars, they beat the Chargers really good on Sunday. And I don't know. This will probably blow. This will probably, you know, throw some people to a loop. But mm, 
you know what? I'm actually going to say the Eagles will win. I'm actually going to say the Eagles will win. The Eagles will beat the Jaguars. I was thinking about it, and then I'm like, you know what? No, I'm actually going to say the Eagles will win. And besides, I want them to be undefeated when we, um, you know, play them in week six. That way that we give them their first blemish of the season. Oh, my God, I want that to happen. I want that to happen, bro. So I want them to stay undefeated, actually. But at the same time, I honestly am not surprised in the slightest if they beat the Jaguars. So, yeah, I got Eagles beating the Jaguars. And then Bills versus Ravens. This is going to be a really good game. In a game that is a bit of a tough decision for me to have to make. Uh, Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson? Lamar Jackson is playing at an MVP-like level so far this year. But then again, so is Josh Allen. But I'm not going to lie, that game on Sunday, though, left a lot to be desired. So I don't know. Um, but Lamar Jackson absolutely has been playing at an MVP level so far to start this year, this season through the first three weeks. I will actually say, though, that the Ravens' defense has looked putrid overall to start this season. They have. And the Bills have an overall more balanced team. They have an overall better team because they have a good offense and good defense. And, okay, here's what it is. I'm actually going to pick the Ravens. I have the Bills win the first two games, and now they're going to drop their next two games. I got the Ravens at home. Um, I have the Ravens at home beating the Buffalo Bills. So Ravens over the Bills. Cardinals versus Panthers. These are two teams that I am very, sh um, I am very shocked to see the situation that they are in. I thought the Panthers would be a, you know, play, uh, would maybe be a team that could fight for a playoff spot. Not looking like it. The Cardinals, I had them getting a playoff spot, and they're one and two. Both teams are one and two. Panthers coming off of a win. Cardinals coming off of a disappointing loss to the Rams. But. I'm actually going to pick the Cardinals, though, because overall, I look at it, and I think that the Cardinals are a better team overall than the Carolina Panthers, and I do trust Kyler Murray better than I trust Baker Mayfield at this point. So I got Cardinals over Panthers. Um, final four. Um, Broncos versus Raiders. Um, the Broncos have been winning a lot of games thanks to their defense. Um, they held the Seahawks to 17 points. They held the Texans to 9 points. And they held the 49ers to 10 points. But those three teams, okay, they're playing the Seahawks, who their offense has been struggling so far this year. You know, their offense is not exactly what you would say. Really a great Really a great, um, you know, really good offense. Um, and then they played the Texans, which they're okay. Um, and then the 49ers, well, Jimmy G and George Kittle are finally trying to get that um, chemistry together. I... I'm going to say that this is the first team that I feel like can be an offensive juggernaut to the Broncos. And I actually am picking the Raiders to get their first victory of the year against the Broncos this week. 
And this is a very long video, so I need to speed this up a little bit. Um, Patriots versus Packers. Um, the Patriots don't have Mac Jones. Zap, some dude, Daryl Zappi or something Zappi, whatever, is about to be their quarterback. And Bill Belichick, I don't care how great of a coach he is and that he's a future Hall of Famer, bro, Zappi's not leading them anywhere. All right, the Patriots are going to be having a rough, rough time for the next four to six weeks because that's how long Mac Jones is going to be out. And you're playing up against Aaron Rodgers at the end of the day. And for at least the first half of that uh, game against the Buccaneers last week, um, the Packers offense, for the most part, did look promising, promising and looked good. So, yeah, Packers winning this game. Matter of fact, I got this being a blowout, too. So, Chiefs, Bucks. Chiefs had a bad game Sunday, all right? Chiefs had a bad game. And the Bucks, well, their offense has been bad for the most part all year. And I look at it, and they played up against the Cowboys defense, the Saints defense, and the Packers defense, all three teams, I believe, that are going to have top 10 defensive, that are going to be top 10 defensive units this year. So, as far as how do I feel about them now going up against the Chiefs, who not as good of a defense as those other three teams, I think that this might be, you know, so far this year, the Bucks, Tom Brady and the Bucks offense, this might be their best performance so far this year. They're going to do a little bit better. But I think Patrick Mahomes will bounce back this week against the Bucks, who while while they are the number one scoring defense, Mahomes and the Chiefs have one of the, you know, they have one of the top scoring offenses in the league, and he struggled a little bit last week. But trust me, mock my words, he's going to bounce back against Tampa Bay on Sunday night. Chiefs over the Bucks, but it's going to be a surprisingly high scoring game. Uh, Rams versus 49ers. Look, for the most part, the 49ers normally always own the Rams, especially in the regular season. Kind of like the Saints, they usually always own the Bucks, especially in the regular season. But Um, just like the Bucks, what they did to the Saints in week two, um, finally getting the monkey off their back in that, I think the Rams might get, um, you know, might get a monkey off their back on this one and finally beat the 49ers in the regular season for the first time in how long? I don't even know. Nonetheless, I got the Rams winning this game. So, uh, a, um, a recap of all my picks. I got the Bengals beating the Dolphins, the Vikings beating the Saints, the Lions beating the Seahawks, the Steelers beating the Jets, the Giants beating the Bears, the Titans beating the Colts, the Texans beating the Chargers, the Browns beating the Falcons, and Commanders-Cowboys game, again, I'll get to that later on this week, Eagles over the Jaguars, Ravens over the Bills, Cardinals over the Panthers, Raiders over the Broncos, Packers over the Patriots, Chiefs over the Bucks, and Rams over the 49ers. Those are my picks for week four. So, with that being said, that has been my time, and this is NFL Thoughts, out.